On this episode of The Ambush Cook, savory Mongolian beef and vegetable fried brown rice. Get this takeout, Mom, out of the drive-thru and into the kitchen. Remember me? I got a once-in-a-lifetime chance to show Oprah what I can do. My biggest desire in life is to just have a cooking show. I love cooking. I thought this was the most unbelievable day of my life. You will both have your own show on the OWN Network. Until today. Now I have my own show, and I am daring you to cook, because I want you to find as much joy in the kitchen as I do every single day. My name is Shania Axis Paschal. I am a wife and a mother of two wonderful children. I would rate myself as a cook the lowest number that would be possible. Cooking is like a bad word in the house. The kitchen is like the uh, no-fly zone. I have the best kitchen in the world. We have state-of-the-art everything. Double ovens, great range. I love it. And I feel that if I learned how to cook, I'd be able to use it for what it was built for. I think I would want to learn some exotic meals. Why not start big? I want to learn some Chinese food, Thai food, West Indian food, you know, something exotic, something fun. That's what the problem is. I don't have fun in the kitchen. We eat a lot of takeout at the house. Okay. Okay, I thought so. I love pizza. You love pizza. For me, having two small children, takeout is very convenient. I pick them up from school, drive to a restaurant, pick something up, and come on back home, sit down, dinner's done. I think that if she had someone that could come in and show her that she shouldn't be afraid of it and that she really can cook when she tries, I think she'll be a great cook. I would rather cook at home than do takeout all the time for my family. For one, it is expensive. Orange chicken? Kayla, you like orange chicken. Yes, I do. Yeah, I know you do. I'm hoping that Christina will teach me the basics. I don't even know the basics of cooking. I want to learn how to season food, the right temperatures, how to know when something is cooked, when it's not cooked. So I spoke with Christina today, and Shania's gonna be out picking up some takeout. So I thought it would be a perfect chance for her to step in and hopefully help the family out. We really need your help, Christina. Shania needs your help, the family needs your help. We really need a home-cooked meal. Help us, please. Good, I have an order for pickup, please. Pashal. Thank you. Thank you. How much do What I you got you? there, Shania? A little takeout? <laughs> what are you doing here? Okay, here's the deal. There are so many simple, 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 easy techniques, easy tricks to making an amazing meal. No time, no fuss. You don't know me. Oh. You really don't know me. Well, I'm gonna know you in about five minutes. Get five on minutes? This. Yeah. We're going straight to my kitchen right now. We're gonna do this. You know what? I am ready. Yes. I'll try it. I'm so happy. Let's go do this. All right. So I wanted to show her that she could make the same dishes she gets to take out, but even better, a little healthier, homemade, something she'd be proud of and I know she'd love. Wait. Just because I'm taking you away from takeout, I'm not taking you away from the foods you love. So. First up, we're gonna make Mongolian beef. What? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and then I hear your favorite thing is fried rice. So we are going to make my vegetable fried brown rice. If you can teach me how to do that, then you are a genius. First, we're gonna make rice mm -hmm. for the fried rice. So this is super easy. You basically want two cups of water to one cup of rice. We're gonna put the water in. Okay. Two cups. I'm turning the heat onto a high, and then I'm gonna lower it. Grab the rice, so it's one cup of rice. Dump it in. Okay. We're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. Perfect. See? Oh, look at that. Look at you like sprinkling the salt. <laughs> we're gonna cover it, and then we're just gonna let it cook. We're gonna start on our sauce for Mongolian beef. 